person is dead, another critically injured us after a house fire in Council Bluffs. Good evening, I'm Melissa Fry. And I'm Jeremy Maskell. Firefighters on scene had to pull a man from the burning home near 13th Street and 7th Avenue around 7 o'clock this morning. Two other people inside were able to get out safely. KETV News Watch 7's Alexandra Stone has this story. Neighbors emotional as they watch and wait for answers about the house fire across the street Friday. I saw the smoke coming out of the windows in the, the basement, and then the fire trucks arrived. Now, all I know is one person is dead in the basement. Smoke billowed from the basement where firefighters say the blaze began. Officers on scene confirmed the victim who died was found in the basement. Crews were able to rescue another person from the main floor. A male party was in, a, in his bed, uh, and fire crews found him, woke him up, and uh, I believe he was disabled, so they carried him out. Fire Chief Justin James says the family had no warning about the fire. They had pretty heavy smoke coming out of the house. Um, there were no truly working smoke detectors in the house, so there was no early indication for the occupants to get out. Neighbor Robin Gilmore says she's known the owner of the home for a long time. I've lived here for 20 years across the street, and I went to school with all of her daughters, and I bring her dinner every night. She saw the woman get out of the house, but she worries for the family. Everything else was blocked off and I couldn't get to her. I don't know what Mrs. Brown is going to do, and I'm used to her always being across the street, so I don't know. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Alexandra Stone, KETV News Watch 7. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Names of those impacted yet have not been released. One family member came to, to the scene today, although she declined to speak with us. The Red Cross is helping the family out.